Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a half chocolate, half vanilla cake. I made this cake for my brother and sister's birthdays since their birthdays are just a few days apart. My sister is a chocolate lover and my brother is a vanilla lover so I decided to combine two cakes into one. To get started I have two 8 inch round cake pans which I've lined with parchment paper and I'm filling this with my sponge cake batter. If you want my sponge cake recipe, click the I up above. Once my sponge cakes finish baking, I let them cool and I'm going to level off that dome top so that I have a nice flat surface. Then I'm going to slice each cake layer in half so that I have four separate cake layers. Now I'm going to bake my chocolate cake. So again, I have my 8 inch round cake pans and I'm going to add my chocolate cake batter onto these. And once these are done baking, I let them cool and again, I level off that dome top. Now since this cake is going to be half chocolate and half vanilla, I'm going to grab each cake and slice it in half. And then I'm going to put one half vanilla and one half chocolate together. And you can save the cake scraps and create another cake, which is what I did with them. Or you can just use them to snack on or use them to make cake pops. So for the vanilla sponge cake part of the cake, I want this to be filled with strawberries inside. I wanted to do kind of a take on the tres leches, so I'm doing a strawberries and cream cake. So here I have some fresh strawberries, which I'm just going to dice into small pieces. And here I have half a can of sweetened condensed milk, which I've mixed with about one third cup of heavy cream. And this is going to be the cream part, which is kind of like the tres leches part of the filling. So what I'm going to do is transfer this cream onto a squeeze bottle. And I'm going to drizzle my cakes with this and that's going to keep them nice and moist and give them that tres leches flavor. And then I'm going to save the rest to drizzle over the strawberries as I fill the cake. So here I have my cake board and I'm going to add a little bit of buttercream onto one side to help my cake stick onto the cake board. And I'm going to do the vanilla cake first. I drizzle the cake with the cream that I made to help keep it nice and moist and give it that delicious tres leches flavor. Then I fill the cake with vanilla buttercream and I pipe a border of more vanilla buttercream around the cake to help keep the delicious strawberry and cream filling that we're going to be adding inside. Now I'm spooning some of the fresh strawberries that I dice into the little cavity. And then I'm drizzling over the strawberries with some of that leftover cream that I made. I add the next cake layer and I keep repeating until I reach the top of the cake. Once I reach the top of the cake, I give this a crumb coat and I let it set. Now I'm going to move on to my chocolate cake. And to fill my chocolate cake, I'm using my Nutella ganache recipe, which is so delicious, you have to give it a try. So click the I up above if you want that recipe. Now I'm going to fill my cake with my Nutella ganache and then I'm going to stack it until I reach the top. And once this cake is filled and stacked, I give it a light crumb coat with more of the Nutella ganache and I let it set. Now I'm going to add the chocolate cake half onto the vanilla cake half and we're going to make this look like one entire cake. So I'm using my cake lifter to help lift the cake without making a mess. And as you can see, the chocolate layer is still a little smaller than the vanilla layer, 
but that's okay because once I finish icing this and piping it, you're not even going to be able to tell. I'm going to give the chocolate cake its final coat of Nutella ganache. And then I'm going to give it a drip border using some melted ganache. And to make this cake look cohesive and give the chocolate cake a little more height, I have some Nutella ganache in a piping bag and that's fitted with the Wilton piping tip 4B and I'm just going to create some swirl designs around the border and that's going to give the cake a little more height to look even with the white cake hat. Then I move on to the vanilla cake and give it its final coat of vanilla buttercream. And I give it a drip border with melted white ganache. So I have some buttercream in a piping bag fitted with that same tip 4B. But this time instead of making high swirls, I'm just going to create a nice shell border. And I create a shell border at the bottom of both cake halves as well. Now I'm going to sprinkle the top part of the vanilla cake with silver sprinkles and the top part of the chocolate cake with gold sprinkles. To top off the chocolate cake side, I have some fresh strawberries here that I'm going to dip in some melted dipping chocolate. And right before they set, I'm going to sprinkle some of them with gold sprinkles and then I'm going to drizzle white chocolate over the other ones. Then for the vanilla side, I'm going to dip my strawberries in melted white chocolate. And then before they set, I'm going to sprinkle some of them with silver sprinkles And then the other ones I'm going to let set completely and then spray with some silver luster spray. So these are the strawberries. Look at how gorgeous they look. I'm going to pile the chocolate covered strawberries onto the chocolate side of the cake. And then the vanilla covered strawberries on the vanilla side of the cake. Now since this cake is for my brother and my sister, and my sister loves chocolate and my brother loves vanilla, so I did half and half. So here I made these cute little cake toppers, these are their initials, so I did the M in gold for the chocolate side and the W in silver for the vanilla side. And I think it looks gorgeous. I mean this cake is perfect for birthdays but it can also be an anniversary cake. It can even be like a small wedding cake or you can make a tiered version of this cake for a large wedding cake. I mean honestly this cake is perfect for any occasion and it tastes amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my amazing recipes and tutorials. Sorry, I forgot. As soon as we sang happy birthday, we cut the cake open and I forgot to record. But here is a picture of what the cake looked like cut.